All right, guys, welcome back to the show. It is your favorite talk show mm -hmm. in the world ever. It is What Women Want. What women Want. And at this particular topic, me and Bridget are going to be speaking to. We have guests who are coming. Yes. Who are here <laughs> right about now? Who are, are for and for the motion? For the motion. They're going to give us explosive, different angles on this topic, splitting deals in the relationship. Yes. Because I don't know, some of you are poor, some of you are just. Crazy. Some of you are true yeah. Nigerian women. No, I ain't doing that. So let me go straight to. Of my first guest to my far left. Far I left or near left? Near left, far left. <laughs> <laughs> my left side, I have OC. Welcome, by the way, he's one half of the Badui twins. Welcome yeah, to the show. Thank yeah. you very much for having very me. dapper. As in, I mean, what's this? That's a piece of what's going on there? What's going on with the style? Clean, no reason. Oh, yes, I, no that's reason. true. That's your slang. To my far right, which is not too far, but she's close, <laughs> I have Isi Atagame. Yes, she's an amazing designer amazing and a beautiful mother. Welcome, Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank How do you guys feel at this moment? Because we're going straight to a topic that is very, you know, are you ready? They are ready for us. Uh, yeah, we've we've had. Okay, now this causes a lot of controversy. People argue about what they will eat in relationships, what they drink, what they will have, and a whole lot. But when it comes to splitting of bills, I mean, it's always like some people are for splitting, some people are against splitting. On what divide are you with regards to splitting bills? Me, I'm in the middle. Right, right. Uh, because. Being the gentleman I am, I don't mind paying, <laughs> but at the same time, I don't think it should be mandatory. I don't think it should be by force. That's just the type of person I am. I feel like both parties, so far they understand each other, what type of vibe of chemistry they have. I don't, I don't think it should be a problem for mm -hmm. uh, to suggest or even offer. Okay. The invitee. Yeah. Hey. The invitee. The, is it the invitee or the inviter? Yeah, I, just, <laughs> I, I still have it in my mind yeah. that you know, but it's a nice gesture still. So. Okay. Is what do you think? Who should? Pay? Should you, do you? Are you for splitting the bills? Just for us. Or are you for the traditional means? The guy should pay. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't mind splitting the bills. Sorry to bust your bubble. No, I'm not against the guy paying bills mm. because, to a certain extent, we have already this ideology that men have these responsibilities. We can take that away from them. But at the same time, with the modern world and the way women are these days, and how hard and independent women have become, splitting the bill is not a bad idea. Mm. Mm. Are you sure? Because looking at it here in Nigeria, I mean, this is a very traditional society. A lot of women feel like if the guy asks me out, like you've gone through hoops and loops and I've ignored you, and finally I decide to go out with you, <laughs> you need to automatically lay the red carpet for me, darling. Let lay the red carpet. Probably white. Yes. Buy me uh, white new shoes. Probably for an initial <laughs> date. Maybe, okay? Um, like, like I always say, it depends on the mindset of the individuals, right? The guy that, is, the invitee, <laughs> and you, the lady who has been invited, you both go out on a dinner date for the first time, you're getting to know each other. Um, do you want to put up a front? Or do you just want to let loose and say, okay, you, I need to know who you really are today. Mm. Do you understand? So that mindset determines how you behave. Okay. If mm. you're going to ask for the bills to be split, if you're going to pay for the bills yourself, depends on the kind of woman you are at the end of the day. Sometimes maybe you're just, you know, this woman has this kind of pride and confidence like, I'm going to show that brother who mm. these babies today, mm. you know, and, and, and she might go for, I'm paying the bills, and then the guy is like, Ooh, okay, and it might be some expensive restaurant where we know that the bill is not small, mm. oh, but right. then you have, you know, you put your best foot forward, so and the, you mm. have automatically made him up this game. Okay, so don't you think that if you even do that on the first day, let's say you just want to, you know, put him on the spot and all, don't you feel like you make him feel incapable of taking you out? Like, he has gone through the difficulty, like you said, and he eventually came and graced the occasion and came out on a date with him. Don't you feel like he'll feel like, okay, I'm not good enough for you? Well, first of all, I like that psychology angle. Mm. And second of all, no. Because a real man wouldn't feel intimidated because you paid for the bill. If, if, first of all, if that was your mindset to go, again, let me speak for myself. <laughs> if your mindset was to go there and think you oppressed me by paying the bill, mm. you know, at first I'm gonna be, I'm gonna uh, judge based off of how the date actually went. The paying the bill is always the last thing. Mm -hmm. if the date didn't make sense or whatever. You just want to show me that you can pay the bill, then you know you're wasting your time. But if it went and it, to me, I saw, I, I thought it was an original gesture that you did. You know, not necessarily rubbing it in my face, but just trying to show that okay, you too, you can. 
bring something to the table as well. Then of course, I think that's key. But to, you also said, um, when you were talking about dating, you said something about the guy has been chasing you, you've been yes. performing and everything. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> first of all, you're not in that. First of all, let me rush you. Oh, but you know, I'm very sure a lot of dates don't actually happen like that. Mm. Most dates usually happen from when a guy and a girl meet each other. I mean, heterosexual dates. Mm. Sorry to leave out any other community. <laughs> <laughs> Most dates usually happen when two people meet each other, they get along, they have this nice organic chemistry, and they want to continue afterwards, or maybe uh, they've been talking online, or whatever the case is, they're getting along and they want to meet, you, meet each other. So it's not a frustration or whatever, it's actually a natural, organic thing. So mm. when, you, when you get there, nobody might even be thinking about paying the bill, they just want to see how the, the night goes. Mm. Uh, but what in the case where you have friends coming around, when you have those scenarios whereby the friend comes around and automatically she expects that you pay the bill because she brings up... How do you manage that situation? How do you manage that situation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, yeah? Yeah. Okay, I'll just say something quickly. You know girls are going to hate me for this, but why take your friend out for a date? So, uh, especially your friend. Like, yeah, especially you one. do... Yeah. I know... It, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you it depends on the, I, I feel like it depends on the kind of guy okay, or the to, guy. If you don't want to hang out with me, okay. say no. Well, if you want to bring your friend, ask me. Look, we don't need strategies. <laughs> That's why I, I will see. I, I try to put people in a situation where they can be comfortable enough to where if you want to hang out with me, you don't have to say, oh, let me bring your friend. For as far as I'm concerned, mm. if you don't ask me and you just blindside me like that, it, it tells me a lot about your character. Mm. And it tells me you don't even want to be there, and then you're not even secure enough in yourself that you have to bring. What's your friend going to do? Just sit down there and do what? And then the guy and, up yeah. like and become the, <laughs> the mediator of the conversation. You lose two brothers, you won't stop. Oh, well. Now you've lost this guy, and you, and most likely you, you lose, lose your friend <laughs> at the end of the and, day. And you know some guys here, yeah, because some guys who apply the psychology to that, okay. You brought your friend to disrupt. Exactly. Let me disrupt too. No, by by showing more attention to your friend instead no, of you. And trust me, the way you guys are built, a lot, a lot of you, not all of you, <laughs> if the guy starts showing that attention to your friend, you'll be able you'll just see it on her face that mm. I shouldn't have done this. Like, oh, okay. But how does that make the guy feel? Like it's it's so that's mean. That's really mean. Oh, so what's it mean when you do that? <laughs> no, but I mean it's, it's so mean to even think to do that to your date you're supposed you to get. I think it's me. Okay. Okay. I don't, I don't before, think it's you know, polite I, to you me. Know, you know, I've hung up with a friend. Do you know, I'll be honest with you, like, I've heard those stories many times, but if, maybe it's my own type of approach. I told you, I'm a gentleman. Oh, okay. You know, so, I, I, I always like to, to say things um, clearly and, and be upfront. Maybe I look like a devil or whatever. You know, I try to communicate myself as best as I can so that we're not, especially if it's the first, you know, I, okay. You know, because it's about getting to know you. I can't get to know you necessarily if you bring your friend. Unless, of course, your friend is extremely cool. Mm. Sometimes a friend can actually come and change the whole vibe in a positive way. Yeah. And sometimes they can come and destroy the whole thing. Okay, yeah. Don't pay the girl and you're going for the friend. Eventually, yeah. No, but, if, if both of them are cool. Do you get what I mean? Like, if, if, if both of them are cool. Cause I invited you out on a date because I preferred... It's you I want to see or whatever, but... If you go and make the, if you're gonna bring a friend on a date, be very careful. Though. Don't go and bring a friend that is now just as hot as you. Maybe even hotter. Oh, okay. yeah. Now more, more down to earth. Like, yeah. But okay. I think that okay. we need to take a break because we're gonna explore the married and speaking of bills. But yeah. let us take a quick break. Remember, the show is still what, what women, women want. want. And our amazing guests are right here, and we've got to take a quick break so that we'll come back to you guys. So stick around, guys. Yeah.